Hey there folks, today I'm going to show you how to prevent a dead battery. This here is my plow rig. Uh, I just use this in the winter for plowing the driveway. We have a relatively big driveway and it's made out of crushed stones so I can't really use a snow blower. During the non-winter season she's practically just parked right here. But from time to time I do want to move it just to make sure it doesn't seize up and that sort of thing. But 90% of the time when I go to get in the battery is dead because there is a, a light that blinks somewhere up around there uh, that slowly drains the battery. And as you can see, it's not blinking, so the battery is dead right now. So I was going to uh, Walmart and I saw this uh, terminal disconnect. What you do is you connect this to your battery, usually to the negative, and there's a dial on it that allows you to, I guess, connect it or disconnect it. So I'll just show you how I will install it. Okay, let's just see if she does start. Okay, there's some juice in the battery. Okay, she's not going to start. So I'm going to have to charge her, but I'll do that later. So, usually down around here, down around your feet, that's where that, there it is, the release. I'll just go up, pop the hood, and show you where the battery is. Before I head back out in the miserable weather, I thought I'd show you this thing a little more closely. So let's just see if I can get it open. There we go. So what you do is that you take your negative terminal off the battery. And you place this on over. You tighten it down. And then your terminal that you took off the battery goes on over this here. And you tighten it up. And by rotating this you rotate it clockwise and it tightens up and it connects your battery to the cable that you've connected here which gives you power and you turn it counterclockwise and it disconnects it so there won't be a drain that stupid light that's up there behind the uh, behind the mirror that will not drain juice anymore so uh, let's get outside and install it this is underneath the hood uh, what I did over the winter is I had this uh, uh, trickle charger installed so that I could plug it in because with the cold weather that also helps kill the battery and where this does have a plow and it uh, uses an electric winch I wanted to make sure that the battery was charged at all times. So I'll disconnect those terminals for now and why I don't have this plugged in for the summer is because it's well it'll just be a waste of electricity and the vehicle is a long ways from the garage. So this is the negative terminal. Uh, I will now get a wrench back off this and take this off the battery. And this now goes on over the terminal and I'll tighten it down right here. So this is what it looks like when it's all put together. We have the negative wire uh, that was connected to the battery terminal here. It's now on the outside of the little disconnect, and the disconnect is connected to the stub of the battery. When in, in this, con uh, this position here with this backed off, there's no connection to the battery, so there's no between. If you tighten it down clockwise, it's all connected and the vehicle will start. One thing I forgot to mention is that before I uh, connected this to the terminal, I took some sandpaper and just cleaned the, uh, the terminal stuff right here just to make sure there's a good connection. Anyway, uh, now I have to charge the battery and then disconnect it, and it should be good for a long while. So several months later, let's see if this battery disconnect works. So I'll take the battery. There we go. Already got the key stuck in the ignition. She's beeping there. And let's see if she'll start. Perfect. There you have it, folks. How to install a battery disconnect so you won't drain your battery with your car in storage. Thanks for watching.